lessons will be learned, said coach Jonas Komla. But Mehmet Hasioglu of Turkey has also demanded an improvement here. Both sides suffered a sense of disappointment of missed opportunity three nights ago, both with scores to settle then as they get ready to go again to prove maybe that lessons have been learned and improved chances of progress. So here we go, almost ready for action, the second game for both of these teams at this tournament, both looking for their first win. Well, with Nigeria not here to defend the title they've won in the last two tournaments, many expect Mali to lead the African Challenge in India. Champions of their own continent and runners up on this global stage two years ago. Their challenge is in danger of being over before it's really got started. Unless they can recover from opening defeat against Paraguay here. Taking on this talented Turkish team with points to prove of their own. And an agenda to match. And it is Turkey in the uh, red and black immediately trying to... Uh, find a way forward down that left-hand side where Bert Chetin has come into the team one of four changes from Mehmet Hasioglu today so clearly not entirely satisfied with what he saw here against New Zealand he was from Ahmed Kutushu a player he says of great potential albeit far from uh, where he should be he believes just yet he's giving him the platform with the, the national team to prove that pedigree on a much wider stage, Turkey settling into the early possession. Ozan Kabak, the centre-back, is the one that has taken over the, uh, the captain's armband with uh, Recep Gül of Galatasaray, the squad skipper, starting amongst the subs today. Approaching early evening local time in uh, Navi Mumbai with this uh, five o'clock kickoff. Against this well-organised Turkish team, talented Turkish team. Well, they picked their way through beautifully here, really well worked build up, it wasn't quite matched by Lasana Endai's finish. The goalkeeper getting an important touch to it though, Berke Uzer. Indeed, Mehmet Hasioglu of Turkey made the point that whatever game they play in this group, his side will be out-muscled. They have to try and uh, win these games by keeping the ball on the floor and allowing their superior technical ability to come to the fore. And they have got the free kick for the challenge on one of the most technical in the team, Atalay Babacet. Harvey with the high foot and clearly kicked boot, not ball, right in front of well, referee Mohammed bin Jahari. As I said, Diaby did find the going tough at times against the Paraguayans, who were equally fleet footed in attack in that sense. It's a similar sort of challenge that they're facing today. And the yellow card was shown to uh, Diaby for that challenge, so that's a costly one. Mentioned he was booked in the the first game. He's been booked again here already. So whatever happens for Mali tonight, he will not feature. Davidjan has it back. He's the playmaker, really. The number ten does play in that that ten position, just in behind the striker. But uh, Drama had done really well to release him. He's going to get there first, and he's put it wide. Wonderful opportunity for Lasana Endai. Gunasagun turning into trouble, having taken it down. Mamak Gunas trying to help him out. Mali getting the better of these duels, though, in this part of the pitch, and that's a good ball for Traore. And the goalkeeper taking matters into his own hands, really, or his own feet, to be precise. Coming to clear. Karen Keskin to the left of the ball is going to be the one to take it. This time he does take the wall out of the equation, but it's very comfortable, really, for Yusef Koita. And another corner, Drama again to uh, take this one. Diaby's headed straight at the goalkeeper who did enough on the line. Berke Yusuf. Of course, all the teams played in pretty much torrential conditions on uh, Friday night. Bit of space again to, uh, to slip it through. Drama in towards Traore. The opening goal that they've been threatening. Jamusa Traore makes Marley's pressure pay. It had been coming. Truly taken and well worked in the build-up. No, we'll certainly argue that is just reward for their effort so far as Marley locked to recover from that opening defeat. Drama involved in the build-up.
to take the Turkish defence out of the picture, really. Well-weighted ball, and this time there was the finish to match. An erring accuracy across the keeper and into the corner, giving Berke use that little chance, really. Oh, he's just overrun that. Here's uh, Ozan Kapak. Could be costly here. Traore in again, looking to uh, punish him. Cuts it back where he had both Drome and Endai in the middle. And they weren't quite precise enough this time. And then to uh, volley it across. I'm claiming it was brought down by uh, the arm of Yunus Akgun there, and the free kick has been given. So that will be that as far as Turkey are concerned before the break. Haven't quite done enough offensively, they've been overrun in midfield at times, have Turkey, and because of that they do trail at half-time as the whistle goes. Plenty of chances for Mali, they've taken just the one of them through Jamusa Traore. Although Recep Girl will have been disappointed not to start the game, will fulfil a similar function. So off and underway at the start of this second half then. Mali will be hoping that the match follows at a similar pattern maybe. But they will look for greater reward for their dominance. Here is Traore again. Into link with uh, Kane. Ibrahim Kane with a strong side. Challenge was by Kerim Keskin. And it was a challenge that he had to get right to work. That certainly has been the message from the camp, from the coach and the technical director of the squad as well. Will be a free kick. Karim Keskin, who's down, and the yellow card is out for the Malian captain, Mohamed Kamara. It's the second caution of the game, and that's why, this time, it was difficult, really, for Kamara making the challenge from that position, coming in. Brought in a control neatly did uh, Troyori, but he then lost it up against this Malchuk Chalice. This time it's uh, Malik Karamet down. And it's uh, Bubakar Haidara with a challenge, so it will be another yellow card here. Both Malian centre-backs have now been cautioned, which will make defending their lead that bit more difficult from here. So in the conditions, let's have a look at this, just a little blatant shove. When he feared maybe that Karamat was going to spin him and get in behind there. So that's careless, Traore getting his head to it and he'll try and chase down his own ball here. Might just get to it as well, Traore does, up against Kabak. And then looks to, uh, to cut it back for Endai, good save by Berkayusa. Really good stop from the Turkish goalkeeper. Turkish defence for the best part. So over his head this time, Okanade is in behind it. This is the RB off the post. Oh, bond on him for the second goal. Endai with his second goal of this competition. And a major moment for Mali as they move 2-2 to the gut against Turkey here at the midway point of this second half and on course for their first points of the competition to kick-start the competition for Mali. Diaby was so unlucky not to score himself. But Mali get fortunate with where the ball broke. A tap-in for Lasana Endai in the perfect place to profit and get the goal that he has been threatening tonight. Civilek has just come on with the slip, Traore has just come on with the... with the... Oh, I was about to say, with the goal! How's it stayed out? Incredible! Turkey, it seems, don't have too much left in the tank here. Will they concede the third? There is your answer! An emphatic answer from Mali. Kanate forward from fullback who might just have the final say. 3 0 and their first three points of the finals. They were finalists two years ago and Mali have come to the party in India in 2017. This puts it beyond any doubts, and there was no doubt about the ferocity of the finish. Berke was rest restricted to roll a spectator in goal as it thundered in off his bar, and whereas Traore was uh, denied by the frame of the goal minutes ago, Kanate was not to suffer a similar fate. He celebrates in style.
Mali are up and running at this under 17 championship the FIFA under 17 World Cup many people's tips for the title Kane again skips into space there's time for one last attack and here it comes through uh, Torres taken uh, too heavy a touch anyway but the flag was up on that far side and that will probably be that full time in Navi Mumbai and it's a vital victory for Mali finalists two years ago they are up and running in this year's competition Navi Mumbai in style in Group B full time at the Dr. D